Black Mirror is a show that loves to put little easter eggs and nods to previous episodes throughout its four season history. And this season, it was no different. There were many easter eggs hidden throughout the whole of season 5, and I'm going to show you every single one that you may have missed. This season did a great job in delivering new stories that focus on the implementation of technology in society as a whole and on a personal level, dealing with the exploitation of artists, the morality of when you enter virtual reality, and the way in which society is hooked on social media. Moments that mean a lot to certain people and have detrimental effects are just merely notifications on other people's phones. I thought it addressed that issue very well. It tackled a lot of issues, and despite it being a relatively controversial season, I think Charlie Brooker did a great job, as per usual. So, let's find the easter eggs. Before I go ahead, make sure you go over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what you thought of Season 5. So without further ado, I'm BrainPilot, and here is Black Mirror All Easter Eggs Explained. Just to let you know, this video will most likely contain spoilers, so watch with caution. Let's start with the first episode. Striking Vipers Striking Vipers was the first episode of Season 5, and out of all of the episodes, it contains the least easter eggs in the season. However, it does still contain some. When Danny takes the box off of Carl and receives the VR headset that he has inside of a box, on the box, we see the name TCKR Systems. This is a reference to the company that created the cloud-based world that you can enter as an afterlife in Season 3 in the episode San Junipero. Entering other worlds seems to be their speciality, it seems. As well, on the case of the game Striking Vipers, we see in the top corner the game was created by the games company Saito Gamo. This is the company that appears in Playtest and makes the haunted house game that the character Cooper enters. The games company is run by Sho Saito and he also appears in the episode Playtest as well. This isn't necessarily an easter egg, but this piece of technology did look very similar to the one that was used in USS Callister. However, that's all of the easter eggs that I noticed in the first episode Striking Vipers. Moving on, Smithereens. Smithereens is an episode that is absolutely full of easter eggs, ranging from season 1 right up until the 5th season of the show. It's great to see all of the nods to the previous seasons in this episode. The first easter egg that I'm going to mention references the episode Smithereens, but it was something that we didn't even realise. When the episode Bandersnatch was released, on one of the endings that you could have chosen, there was a news interview, and at the bottom of the screen, there was a headline reading, Senate Committee Grills Smithereen CEO Billy Bauer over Russian bots. This is something that we didn't even realise and was out of context back then. However, it was a nod to the episode that was going to come, and the CEO played by Topher Grace in this episode. Another scene in Smithereens where we see several easter eggs at once, is when the COO is on her laptop, and on the news, you see a reference to the national anthem, one to White Christmas, one to Shut Up and Dance, and the other to what I would say is the entire history of you. Inside the Smithereen headquarters, we see a huge screen in the background. This is where a lot of references are collected as hashtags and posts. For example, we see hashtag Ashley O. Wembley, which is a reference to the third episode in season five. Hashtag St. Juniper Strike, which is a nod to San Junipero and Black Museum. Hashtag Saito Gamo announcement, which is another nod towards Playtest, or potentially the release of Striking Vipers. Hashtag Tucker, which is for Bandersnatch. We also see a clear headline about the creator in Playtest, and also one stating that the UK Prime Minister, Michael Callow, is going to meet with EU negotiators in Brussels. This is a reference to the first ever episode of Black Mirror National Anthem so it seems as though he's still in power. When the negotiations are underway when trying to get Chris to give himself in, on a screen we see Chris's smithereen profile. This is then when we see another reference to the episode playtest. He has a status slash tweet-like piece of content, saying, which of the new Saito Gamo consoles should I get? They seem to love a reference of playtest in this season, especially this episode. A collection of easter eggs are also collected on Chris's Hitcher app at the start of the episode. At several points when looking at his phone, 
We see Saito Gamo Arcades as a place which is a reference to Playtest again. The Bandersnatch Theater, which is obviously for the episode Bandersnatch. Fences Pizza, which is from USS Callister and Crocodile. Hux, which is a reference to Charlie Brooker's wife. We also see the current fair as Skillane Street. This is an obvious nod to the main character in the episode White Bear, Victoria Skillane. Arquette and Stripes Cocktail Bar also appear on the map, which are references to the episode Men Against Fire. When the COO of Smithereen is forced to make a phone call, on her contact list we see a collection of names that appear from previous episodes. We see Michael Callow from the National Anthem, Nish from Black Museum, Dr. Peter Dawson from Black Museum as well, and Blue Colton from Hated in the Nation. The final easter egg in this episode appears on the account analytics of the Smithereen app for Chris's profile. It's apparent that words that Chris has posted include Victoria Scalane, which is from Season 2's White Bear, Michael Callow from the National Anthem, Fences Pizza, which is from Crocodile and USS Callister, and also Space Fleet from USS Callister. This episode didn't hold back when it came to referencing other episodes, and it was great to see all of the throwbacks and mentions from previous characters and places. It's great that Black Mirror is incorporating that even more, showing that it is set in the same universe. Now, the final episode. Rachel, Jack and Ashley 2. This is another episode that consisted of a ton of easter eggs from the previous seasons. When in the car after Ashley O's interview, we see Ashley's aunt Catherine is using the app from the previous episode, Smithereen. When the news appears on the screen announcing that Ashley is in a coma, we also see several news headlines appear. We see a reference to Crocodile with the headline stating, Architect arrested on multiple charges. Saito Gamo shares jump on Striking Vipers release. This is the company that appears in Playtest and Striking Vipers. Another headline was Museum Owner's Body Found in Smoking Ruins. This is referencing Rolo Haynes and the ending of the episode Black Museum in Season 4. We also see it announced that Ashley has been rushed to St. Juniper's ICU. This is a reference of the hospital that appears in Black Museum. Another one is Narrative Creator Still Missing, which is an obvious nod to the episode Bandersnatch. On the news, we see a reference to a series called Sea of Tranquility. This was originally referenced in the National Anthem, but we also saw people dressed up as the characters from the series in the first episode in Season 3, Nosedive, when Lacey gets on the bus. We also see the rapper that appeared in the episode Hated in the Nation, Tusk. He briefly appears for a short while. One of the first easter eggs that appears in this episode is the school that Rachel attends. She goes to the school Rittman High School, which is a reference to the character Colin Rittman, who appeared in the episode Bandersnatch. Finally, the biggest easter egg of them all is when the song Anyone Who Knows What Love Is will understand. This appears in every season of the show. It originally aired in 15 Million Merits, then White Christmas, then Men Against Fire and Crocodile. And in this season, it appeared when Miley Cyrus was in a coma and they were pulling music from her vegetative-stated mind. What better person could there have been to sing it in this season? A brilliant way to reference it. This season consisted of a lot of easter eggs, more than what I feel as though we usually get. So as I said, it was great to see that. So, there you have it. All of the easter eggs that I managed to spot in season 5 of the show. Did I miss any? If I did, then comment them down below. What did you think of season 5 of the show? Did you enjoy it? Leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. I'd just like to say thank you to my patrons, B Cipher and Lucy Nathanson. If you'd like to support the channel in a different way, then head over to my Patreon, patreon.com slash brainpilot and have a look around. Thank you. If you'd like to see what I've rated many other TV shows and movies, then head over to my Letterboxd profile, letterboxd.com slash brainpilot. Comment a movie and I'll rate it over there. As well, I have done a previous Black Mirror Easter Eggs video from the previous seasons and Bandersnatch, so feel free to give that a watch. One final thing, if you want to see many other videos on Black Mirror, then I've got a playlist with tons of videos in there to fill your time and find out more about the episodes that you love. If you've made it this far, thanks for sticking till the end. I'll see you next time.